Hey, all right. Welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. That was George Wood with the Where's It Wednesday theme. We're going to take a look at uh, the Macro Recorder. Now, the Macro Recorder back in Excel 2003 was under Tools Macro, and we had a whole series of commands here. We could change the security, of course, before you wanted to run macros the first time. We'd have to go into security and change it back from high to at least medium. And then um, other things here, we could Tools Macro get a list of the macros, that's Alt F8, or record a new macro, or even go straight to the Visual Basic Editor. Um, and this was all well and good. Um, now we'll talk over the next week about the macro recorder and, and the shortfalls of the macro recorder. But when we get to Excel 2007, well, gee, it seems like every uh, trace of the macro recorder is gone. If we go to View, um, out here on the right-hand side, we can get a list of our macros. But really, it doesn't seem to have the same amount of functionality that we have in Excel 2003. So here's the story. They've really improved the whole macro recording experience. They've just tried to simplify things by removing it from view for, for most people. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the Office button, click the Office button, and then go down to Excel Options at the bottom of basically the, the old file menu. And Excel Options is very easy to find. It's just the third check mark here, Show Developer tab in the ribbon. Click OK. And we'll now have a brand new tab to the right of view called the Developer tab. Now here's a quick tour of that new developer tab. Visual Basic is the fast way to get to the Visual Basic Editor or Alt F11. Macros is a list of all macros or Alt F8. And then the macro recording buttons, record macro, use relative references. It's really nice that the relative reference button now actually has words, use relative references. As we'll take a look, that button is really the key to making your macros work well. And then macro security, this is one that's just a, a tiny bit maddening because They've changed the words around. What used to be medium is now called disable all macros with notification. That means, hey, we're not going to let the macros run, but we're going to tell them that there's macros there, kind of like the medium option used to do. So that's the one that we want to use. We also, it's pretty nice, have now access to the form controls and the ActiveX controls. Those two little toolbars are now right here. And of course, once we've added a form, we can get to Properties, View Code, and Run Dialog. And then on the right-hand side, a new XML pane. XML was really started to be supported in 2003, so they've added it here to the Developer tab. Now, tomorrow, we're going to take a look at recording your first macro, and it'll work, but then learn when the macro recorder doesn't work and what you can do about it. So I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.